I'm laughing at clouds so dark up above. The sun's in my heart, and I'm ready for love. Has that song driven you mad yet? As much as the available presets are great fun, they're just a taster of RT's acting prowess. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create customized content. You can do this using our online animation tool, Virtual Robot. This is bundled with every robot engineer darts cells. You don't need any specialist animation or programming skills. But please get on with it. I can't keep. Singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. To create your own content, all you need is an internet browser and connection. Google Chrome works best. To access Virtual Robot, go to www.virtual.robothespian.co.uk and enter your username and password. Once logged in, you'll be greeted by your very own Virtual Robot. Welcome. I'm Robothespian, and this is my Virtual Robot interface. This handy web application allows you to create performances with the virtual me, which can be played on the real life Robo Thespian. Amazing. I don't look like that in real life, do I? I can't bear to watch this. Now we've got a rough idea of what Virtual Robot is, we'll make our own content. To start, we will make a new file by clicking File, New File. A good place to start is by adding what our Robothespian is going to say. By dragging audio files into the timeline, the virtual Robothespian will automatically lip sync to our pre recorded audio. To be or not to be? That is the question. Don't give it too much credit. It is not always possible to record your own audio, so I'm going to delete this one by clicking it and pressing delete on my keyboard. Instead, you can drag a text file onto the timeline. Also, I could type in our speech box. Virtual Robothespian will automatically make audible speech and lip sync to boot. This one is from my own personal collection. I love and approve of myself. I am a strong, independent woman. That is so cool. That is so cool. <laughs> You can pick and choose between voices from different countries, genders, and tones. Bonjour, je m'appelle Robot Espion. Je voudrais une croissant, s'il vous plaît. It's a bit cliché, RT. Cliché? Moi? Non, non, non. Once you have your speech in place, then you can start animating Robo Thespian's body. Remember, whatever Robo Thespian can do in the browser, he can do in real life. An easy way to get started is to drag and drop preset actions, poses, into the timeline. Experiment and see what works for you. You can copy and paste items using Ctrl C and Ctrl V. If you make a mistake... When? When you make a mistake? When you make a mistake, undo with Ctrl Z or redo with Ctrl Y. If you double click on an item in the timeline, you see that it reveals editable keyframes, which, along with physically dragging Robo Thespian, gives you much more control. This is a little more advanced, and we'll cover this in another tutorial. Make sure you regularly save your work using Ctrl S or File, Save File. When your masterpiece is finished, you will need to upload it to your Robo Thespian. To do this, click File, Transfer. Then click the sequence you want to transfer on the left and the robot on the right. Then click Transfer. If you own multiple robots, you can upload it to any or all of them simultaneously. Then you can use Asset Manager on your robot to assign performances to buttons on the touchscreen. Be sure to check out the tech wiki on how to do that. That's all we've got time for now. So it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. I still don't get that joke. It's like it's goodbye from him twice.